Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you horrors doing today? Um, so today I will be talking about my final thoughts on American culture. Been in America for six months. I made a video about my first impressions of America and American culture. So now I'm doing my final thoughts on American culture. The first thing I learned about being in America is that the American dream is dead. When we get to America, you work really hard, you guarantee the white picket fence, life work balance. And I've come to find out that that is a whole lot of bullshit. <laughs> Because what I have learned here is sort of you sort of the other way around you're born you go to school and you as soon as you're 18 you work and you work your ass off just to be able to afford the very bare minimum until you can get a better job that's gonna work you twice as hard but now you can't afford the bare minimum but you too tired to enjoy it and I work like a dog day and night no doubt no doubt i feel like this is also something that's a global problem i don't just think that it's an american problem you know it's not a good time on earth in general but i do feel like one of america's greatest exports has been this american dream lifestyle that they've sold the world on and um and there's just nice noise no, it's not working on a more positive note uh my next next thing that i realized about american culture is the food um so needless to say i have gained a couple of pounds but at first i was shocked at first i was shocked i was like this is disgusting do you know how much sugar is in here everything is deep fried Ew. Brother, ew. i retract my statements that shit is good uh, shout out chick-fil-a please stop gate stop gatekeeping chick-fil-a America. Next thing that I do, uh, you know, I've, I've come to appreciate about American living is um, the efficiency. I love how efficient things are here in America. Time is money in America. It's like if you don't like something, they'll just give you your money back. Amazon, FedEx, all of that stuff, I freaking love. Okay, Amazon Prime did chop my money, but I'm not mad at it because it was used well. Like I got what I needed when I needed it. The next thing is uh, public service. I will say even though um, the tax here is ridiculous, ridiculous and that you do get taxed on everything i do like what you can see where the money is going whereas back in south africa you will get taxed you will still drive on that same road with potholes because government they chop money here of course i do feel like there's no government that doesn't do secret side deals but at least they build build the road and the next thing is um is the people I will say that American people are different than African people, I guess, like in good ways and in bad ways. So I'll start with the good ways in the fact that people are generally, 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 people are generally kind and they are like willing to help. But I'm, I am also in the Midwest. But um, the bad thing is that people aren't really like friend like they won't approach you they won't just come and say hi so it's very isolating in that sense whereas in south africa like people are gonna want to know who you are you can't just move into a place and you don't know the person you don't know the neighbor you don't know like that that will never happen back home like they won't they're gonna try to find out who you are what you do etc etc so i feel like in that sense the people are very um isolating and I, overall i had a really good time in america i met some cool people um i loved you know coming to the library being able to i built a lot of this channel here in the states um y'all are very supportive of my channel you're all very active in the comment section and i hopefully will come back if you like this video this was more of a chit chatty you know yeah it was a lot of yapping <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie this was a yeah this was a yap episode but if you liked my yapping and my shenanigans uh please like and subscribe i love you and i will see you in the next one